Me and my sister, we have a past. We almost died at the hands of a witch. But that past made us stronger. We'd gotten a taste of blood, witch blood. And we haven't stopped since. So guys, you know, it takes a certain type of person to be able to be a witch hunter. You gotta have courage, you gotta, you gotta have you gotta How would you know balls that? a little bit. Based <laughs> off the movie I saw last night, uh, based off all the great co-stars that you've worked with in your past, which one do you think has, has the, the best X factor, has what it takes to maybe to be a witch hunter? Oh, God, Sam Jackson. Yeah, yeah, Thanks, yeah. Sam Jackson. Yeah, um, for me, Judy Dench. Judy Dench, She would yeah. definitely be able to kill some witches, yeah. just with her gaze. I would kill to see the Judy Dench, <laughs> Sam Jackson sequel of Hansel and Gretel. I love that, that in a way Hansel and Gretel are kind of destined to be witch hunters based off of a moment in their childhood and kind of, you know, it, it echoes throughout their lives. Sure. What is a moment in your childhood that kind of proves that you were destined to be right here in this moment, that proves that you were destined to be an actor? Uh, my, there's a video of me my, when I was little, um, my sister building a sandcastle. I oh, know I'm building a sandcastle and she knocks it down and I'm like, <gasps> She knocked it down, like totally over the top. I was like four years old. There you go. There it was. That's my name is Gretel. And this is my brother Hansel. I'm not going to have you telling me what to do. How do you best kill a witch? Cutting off her head tends to work. I hate that one. I, I love this idea that, you know, because we, we're all familiar with the classic Hansel and Gretel fairy tale, and, and very rarely do we get to see where fairy tale characters end up a little bit later on in their life. What is, what is another classic fairy tale that, that you love, that you grew up hearing, that you'd kind of like to see, like, where they ended up 15, 20 years later? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. What's Humpty Dumpty doing? <laughs> he's still trying to piece himself back together. Yeah, I wonder if he's Super missing glue. any parts. Yeah. I feel like that's a tragic story. That's so sad. I think all of them are, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't, yeah, fairy tales, it's like, aren't you supposed to read those to your children before you go to bed? Scare it's like, factor. no, man, right. you don't read this to They're your to children. To scare the bed. children into submission. Yeah. Well, if you do this, if you run away from home, you're going to get eaten by a witch, so don't. Right. <laughs> they were scary back in the day. <laughs> yeah, if you read the original um, fairy tales as well, I mean, really dark. And, yeah. 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 Well, that's grim, right? They right? play yeah. on your psychology of, of your fears, you know, that's, right. that's why they were written. I would love to see the R-rated version of, of Humpty Dumpty 20 years later and, you know, <laughs> throw a few <laughs> F-words in there and kind of yeah. see where things the go from Humpty there. Dance, make your dance. <laughs> <laughs> the last two weeks, we have five children taken from us. The witch does not come out in the open like that. I don't think we're hunting witches. There's something else going on here. We have to find those kids. You know, I love uh, the character that you guys have that kind of follows you around, kind of the, he's a fanboy, he's kind of geeking out. It proves that, you know, even, you know, hundreds of years ago, there were still kind of fanboys geeking out <laughs> about their celebrities. So I was wondering, flash forward, real life today, what's that, the craziest geek out fanboy moment that you've had in your career? Oh my goodness, you must have had so many. Uh, yeah, I think it was in Germany. I don't know, man. You've seen grown ass men in, in, <laughs> in tights and costumes that are literally made for 50 cents. I love it. it it's, what, it's dressed such, up as a character? Yeah, it's like some, somebody from the Avengers somehow. So I, 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 love <laughs> it. I appreciate their, their verb for life and. Wow, yeah. Their cardboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's just, it's, yeah, every day, actually. Right? Yeah. So, note to self, don't come in costume <laughs> next time I see you guys. No, I mean, I appreciate it. Yeah, Actually, what I, I do love is the is when little kids do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that is, like, the most precious thing ever. That's, uh, I never get to do movies that kids see. Let's start with this. Shoot anything that moves. I see you got my invitation. I have my sister. Get up! That's new. Hell yeah! Good morning, sunshine. He 
gotta be kidding.